Stop me off in Harlem. Yeah, good old Harlem. Stephanie, welcome to another episode of the Posh Pescatarian. I'm really excited about today's episode because we're going to take a quick trip to the state of New York the city of Harlem to be exact, and we're gonna to put together an incredible chicken fried catfish and waffles that's gonna knock your socks off. Now this meal is inexpensive, relatively easy to put together, and is a definite crowd pleaser. Now as usual, I'm not gonna require you to pack a bag, but I am gonna require you to bring along your appetite and your sense of adventure. Can you handle that? I thought so, let's go. Have your fun under the Harlem sun, so drop me off in Harlem. There's Duke Ellington up in Harlem. Okay, first things first, let's talk ingredients. We are making chicken fried catfish and waffles, so that means a couple different things. It means our fish, and it means our waffles. Let's start with the fish. Here is what I'm using. This is U.S. farmed raised catfish, okay? It's boneless and it's skinless. I want you to try and find catfish because it's got really nice, delicate flavor. It's really meaty, but remains really moist and succulent when we fry it up, okay? So try and use catfish. Another substitution would be something like tilapia, the very worst case scenario, okay? Now we're also gonna be using some really great spices to make our fish really flavorful. And I'm using some spices that I typically use, you know, paprika and uh, cayenne, granulated garlic, obviously salt and pepper. But what I'm also adding to this is going to be some ground thyme and some ground mustard. Okay, try and find those two ingredients because I really think it works well with the rest of the ingredients for our waffles. Which brings me to my next point our waffles. I am using some basic all-purpose flour. I'm using white flour. If you want to use whole wheat flour, it's completely up to you. We're going to combine this flour with some really basic ingredients, you know, milk, eggs, vanilla, that sort of thing, and make a really incredible waffle. Probably one of the best you've ever had, I'll dare to say. Now, everything else that you need for tonight, you're going to find on the ingredients list coming up next. Okay, let's start cooking. We're gonna begin by getting our fish marinating in the milk. Let's go. Drop me off in Harlem. Yeah, good old Harlem. You have your fun under the Harlem sun, so drop me off in Harlem. There's Duke Ellington up in Harlem. He writes all his tunes in okay, Harlem. Okay, that's it for the fish for the moment. Now let's get started on our walk. Mm, way up in Harlem. All the cats are still up there They're beating out those ribs And the Apollo, Puerto Rico to Give you a red big lift, yes Drop me off in Harlem Yeah, man, beautiful Harlem You get red beans and rice, it's very nice Way up there in Harlem, that is set that to the side. Now we're going to finish up our fish. Now I'm going old school and using a technique that my grandma Faye taught me. So what we're going to need is two paper bags, one inside the other to make sure that it's really well reinforced. We're going to dump in our flour, dump in our spices, and get everything a good shape before we get it into the frying pan. So let's get going on that. Okay, so take your two cups of flour and put those into the bag. And then you're going to add all of your spices. Okay, just dump them in. Make sure everything is mixed. Okay, our next step is to take our fish and just make sure that it's draining properly. It's okay to leave a little bit of that milk on there because that's going to help it form a crust. And then we're going to drop that in, just like that. It's best to do two at a time, okay? So we're going to do two. And then take this. Some of the 
excess flour off. And then we're going to leave these on a paper towel to dry just for about 10 minutes. We want the flour to absorb into the milk to form a really nice crust. on the waffles and then I'm going to show you how we plate this up. Waffles are done, so let me show you how we plate this up. Drop me off in Harlem. Yeah, good old Harlem. You have your fun under the Harlem sun. So drop me off in Harlem. There's Duke Ellington up in Harlem. He writes all his tunes in Harlem. And old Satchmo's still swinging. Way up in Harlem. Okay, so now for my favorite part of the show, and you know it is tasting the fruit of my labor. So, what I have here is a Harlem inspired chicken fried catfish and waffle meal that is sure to please any crowd. So, let me just take my fish and my waffle, get it into that really real maple syrup, and give it a taste. Excuse me for one quick second. Oh my gosh. This is incredible. Mm. Okay, this is so good on so many levels. Okay, first things first, this waffle is to die for. It is succulent, it is delicious, the edges are crispy, the inside is moist. This fish, hot, crispy, seasoned to perfection, and this real maple syrup is really adding to the overall sweetness. I hope you have enjoyed our quick trip to Harlem. For the Posh Pescatarian, I'm Stephanie. Bon appetit.